peace peace family so i'm back with another one today what i want to do is i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how you must share the same belief system for certain levels and certain frequencies with different beings you know what i mean so for us like for friendships you know that it's okay if you have a certain religious belief versus their religious belief you know which is a huge portion of their belief systems there's plenty of beings out here who operate and they are on friends levels with different beings who are of different religions you know and i'm just using religions because that's a huge part of your belief system not nationality and all of that other stuff but your religion so if you're not a religious being then you still have a belief system something that you believe in as far as whether you believe in a higher power or you don't believe in a higher power, that's still a belief system. You know what I mean? So if we understand, like, you don't have to be fully connected on all avenues for, like, certain friendships to go through stores in different places for different interactions and engagements, you know. But when you start digging deeper and you wanting to have a, a more deeper connection with the beings around you you have to share the same belief system and the thing about it is is like you don't have to wholeheartedly but for me i like to look at sharing the same belief system as like 80 90 percent you know what i mean so like if you believe in god and i believe in the creator most high which is the same thing then we'll always find a great median and there will always be clarity in the process, you know? Because even when we have disagreements or things where it's not flowing the way we would like them to flow, we would still have the creator in the middle, which would kind of be our mediator in the spiritual realm. A lot of these beings out here it's not operating that way, you know? So that's why you having a whole bunch of friction when you out here trying to engage with different beings and put them in places, you know, that they really don't belong. You know what I mean? So, and that y'all will never mesh to be able to create that right recipe. So, your belief system is what pushes you through your day. Your belief system is what wakes you up. Your belief system is what motivates you. You know, your belief system comes with a lot of power, a lot of pull. So that's why you'll never see someone who practices Islam, Muslim, you know, and then someone who practices Christianity. You'll never see them like in a full out relationship because their belief systems are too different. So for them to stand in their belief system and believe in it, then they have to be with another being of that same belief system. You know, so that makes a lot of sense when you operate out here in the Western world. All of this shit is witchy. You know what I mean? And somebody commented down below before saying Western society, but like it's not everywhere. When I say Western society, I mean in anywhere they embedded this machine at. This machine is embedded all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want to talk about Europe, Africa, South America, Australia, everywhere. Every landmass is going to have some westernized shit there. You know what I'm saying? The machine has stamped itself there. But as far as for the belief system, though. We wasn't taught these things growing up that, you know, we should be processing another being's belief system along with ours when we're thinking about doing something or engaging with them for a long period of time. But as you get older, you realize it don't matter if you like the same things or not. You both can like pizza, you both can like cheese, you both can like the couch, you both can like swimming. But if y'all belief systems are not connected, if they do not have a great median ground, like where the creator meets you at 
some witchy motherfuckers when you got witchy and witchy they creator in the middle is not really the creator it's their false god that big demon deity so it always results back to i i i i i so it's always hard to get the clarity because it's always about i instead of the vision you know the bigger picture so you always going to get friction with a lot of beings who claim to be um following the creator the most high you know whatever title you want to put on it but the one who is the most powerful in the spirit realm who created this right here you know and they realize with their movements that's not how they flow you know what i mean because the creator is more soothing it's more peaceful like you don't come with a lot of anger and rage the anger and rage when you do receive it is because of like someone didn't receive justice or you didn't receive justice like it's usually something deserving when that process is in even when we have slight subtle situations where we process that we're self-aware enough to know what we're still doing when we're in that state you know what i mean so if we decide to act <clears throat> over the top it's because we're aware and we feel like it was called for but it's not like we wasn't aware of these things you know but we also know that because as we got older we matured through that process and we watch others not mature through that process and not grow through that process so that's when i had to understand like six years ago like you gotta share the same belief system i wanted to stop christmas and all those holidays right but i was with my bm at the time when that was going on and she was raising it i was raising it but she wanted to kind of keep it going for the mini so it was like this weird crossroad of trying to break something right away that i don't want to partake in anymore but i was raising it they raising it and it's like oh okay but it's like fortunately unfortunately it's like i don't want to celebrate so i'm not going to celebrate it first year i came with a compromise because i know i kind of winged it on her right away you know so i had compromised a little bit there but after that, it was no more celebrations, you know what I mean? Like, somebody was talking about tomorrow was Easter. I was like, oh, shit. I forgot about that day, too, you know? When the big Easter run around pooping eggs and stuff. When bunnies give birth to whole bunnies, you know? They don't even birth eggs. But it's a weird process. That's what I be saying. Like, if you take in this westernized belief system, then you are going to always be confused to a certain degree on the inside. You know, when I mean a certain degree, I mean a higher percentage, like at least 60 to 70 percent of the time. You used to dealing with about 30 to 80, 30 to 20 percent clarity. You know, some beings make it to 40 percent clarity over there. But when you operating as a zombie robot you know they don't went and got the uh, uh, uh and then they sitting around looking at everybody else like oh what i shouldn't have got it blah, blah. Like, well you could take it back now but you already did it you know so what you gotta do is make sure you don't get no more make sure you are removing that belief system from your process you know what i mean because the more you follow it the more you it's going to be harder for you to remove all the other spells that they done cast it you know it's going to be hard to remove all the other belief structures that they put in place you know so if you believe in this one thing then you have to believe in that thing you know so i know we have to do certain things to operate out here but that doesn't mean that you have to believe in it at the highest percentage you tell yourself that you're just doing this because this is something that you have to do to operate within this western society but this is not something that you believe in so you gotta process all of that, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you definitely dead on top of that when you're engaging with other beings, you know, different spousal partners, you know what I'm saying? For me, it's gonna be females, fellas, it's females, females, it's gonna be the fellas, you know what I'm saying? So females, y'all need a great leader, so you gotta tap into his belief system. If his belief system is some trash, then that's probably a being that you should not be following, you know what I'm saying? And fellas, you got to make sure she is sharing a similar belief system with you or she's willing to remove hers and tap in with yours. You know what I'm saying? Women get married to Muslims and they convert to that religion. And women convert to Christian. They, they follow their leader. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to make sure that you got one who got his head on. You know what I'm saying? And that you believe in him as well, too. 
y'all believe in, in the most high and the creator, then y'all ain't gonna have no choice but to believe in each other because that comes with the process. You know what I mean? But I ain't wanna run it up too long, you know what I'm saying? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.